Hello fellows, welcome to my channel. This channel is entirely dedicated and created for educational purposes only. Here you can find high quality educational materials to learn the basics, whether you are a beginner, more advanced or an intermediate trader. For people that want to see more action, you can check the link on the top right corner. Here we are proving our methods with real accounts. We trade for several years and we show that it can be done profitably. You can subscribe as all profits go to our subs. You can find all the details about our accounts. However, since you are new in trading, using real money is almost forbidden. Practice will make you better and do not expect fancy cars and fake promises. Trading is real challenging and the numbers are against you. You won't need any money to start and everything is totally free. For most of our videos, you will find the link in the description that will lead you into a more advanced version of the video. But as beginners, I do not recommend. Stay with the basics and demo trading. So let's begin your journey. The moving average, simple and to the point, a powerful and simple indicator to read. In this episode, we will see several variations of this indicator and how to use it properly. Before moving any further into our analysis, we need to explain the type of prices that we will use. When we examine prices in the market, we have the open price, the higher price, the lower price and the close price. We have already explained this in the previous episode. For the entire series, we are using the typical price. The typical prices is nothing more than adding the high, low and close price together and dividing them by three. You will understand the difference later, but for the moment, stay with me. So what is a moving average? Probably you've learned it in school, but you thought it was unnecessary knowledge. Well, guess what? It's not. The moving average is a technical trend following indicator. In simple words, it's a smooth line that passes from our prices. Even though you will learn how to apply to several prices, is the average price of X period of candles. We will go deeper into indicators and how to use each and one of them. The purpose of this indicator is to try to predict future prices. Moving average indicator smooths and makes more clear the trend. As the market moves in waves, the moving average can help you to understand the trend. Also, by checking the slope, you can predict future price movements. Moving average smooths the prices, but how smooth? Now, the smoother it becomes as we grow the period, the slower it becomes. Slower means that they react slower in price movements. As an example, I have plotted three moving average indicators. The first one is with period 10, the second one is 30, and the third one is 150. Now check how fast and close into the prices the first one is compared with the third one. The last one is too slow and barely reacts to the prices. The debate is huge at this point. What value to use is the main question. The shorter the period, the faster it will react to price changes. This reduces its usefulness and may offer less insight into the overall trend. Now, the longer the period we use, the slower the indicator becomes. So what do we do? Well, that's why we are here. Trading is a chaotic process of self-fulfilling prophecies. We will use the values that most traders use. This doesn't guarantee success, but you will come a step closer. There are five types of moving averages, the simple or arithmetic, the exponential, the weighted, the triangular and the variable moving average. At this point, I suggest to try several of them in your platform to get the idea. In most of the platforms, we will use the basics simple and exponential. In every indicator that we are analyzing, we are always providing the formula. As beginners, this information won't be so important. However, some of you might choose to go deeper. So are you ready? The simple moving average or arithmetic is the simplest one. Calculate it by adding the last X periods closing prices and then divide it by that period's number. Remember what we said about typical prices. In theory, you need to calculate the closing prices, but as we said, we will use the typical prices. This is up to you and I suggest to practice with value. The typical, in my opinion, is the best, especially in the daily range candles. I hope you are not confused. Let's give an example. To calculate the MA of 10 periods, we will divide the last 10 periods typical prices divided by 10. The indicator will calculate and give a value. For each period added as time passes, we'll continue to give values. Put a line and there it is. You have a simple moving average. 
you don't have to calculate any of this information. This will be automatically shown on your trading platform. I suggest practicing with the values to get the idea. It is important to understand how it works because you will need to adjust the indicator to make it work. Like many other indicators out there, moving average is not a leading indicator. We will explain types of indicators in the future, but for the moment, this is a lagging indicator. In this Euro USD, I have used the 10, 30, and 50 as an example. Remember the Captain Hindsight syndrome. Everything is obvious after someone provides a solution. After the market makes the move, it's easy to say what indicator should have been used. But we need this as an example to understand how to use it. Now, as soon as we can identify the trend, we will start plotting the most suitable values that better describe current market behavior. Now, time is relative in trading, so this will be also a headache. And the reason is very simple. You will change time frames and everything probably will be lost. Trading is really hard, I am afraid. Now, you do not have to be a trader to understand that at this point the market started to trend up. But you need to be a trader to predict future market prices. In this example, a potential long trade might hiding at this point. Now this is not enough to enter a trade. A simple moving average is just a tool. Later in this episode, we will see some pros and cons. The moving average cannot spot spikes in the prices. It reacts too slow in the price. The idea of a simple moving average is to have a general view of the market when the market is trending. Now take notes. Only when the market is trending, the moving average gives the best of the results. It's just a trend following indicator. The moving average indicator can give several false signals. So the simple MA, the simple moving average, is just too simple. We need something else, something that will react more to recent prices, to give more weight to recent prices. Now what if I told you that maths can provide us with a solution to this problem? What if I say to you that there is a way to give more weight to the last prices? And here comes the exponential moving average. The exponential moving average is a weighted average of recent periods prices. Exponentially decreasing weight for each previous period. The formula gives recent prices more weight than past prices. You don't have to remember any formula at this point. If you want, I can provide the formula in the comments for those who are really interested. The idea is to understand how to use it. In every platform, this information will be automatically be given. In the same example, in the same EURUSD example, we will put the same exponential moving average next to our simple MA. The red lines are the simple moving averages and the blue ones are our exponential. Notice how the exponential gives more precision in your trading. I know you like it and that's why we are here. Now goes without saying that the exponential is more suitable to use. Well, not exactly. Okay, so what is the best? Given the fact that there are several other types of moving averages, the exponential moving average will respond better to recent prices. So you have the first clue. When it comes to smaller periods, then the exponential moving average is the best. This can help you catch trends very early. In fact, the earlier you can catch a trend, the longer you can ride it and book those profits. The downside of using the exponential moving average is that you might get faked out during consolidation periods when the market will be raised. The moving average responds so quickly to the prices and you might think a trend is forming when it could just be a price spike. Being fast is not so good in trading. The market is full of false signals. On the other hand, the simple moving average will provide you a smooth line for longer periods. When you want a moving average that is smoother and slower to respond to price action, then a longer period simple moving average is the best way to go. This will help you understand the overall trend. Because it is too slow, this will eliminate most of the spikes and wrong signals. On the downside, of course, is that it detects prices too late. Putting this two into perspective, the simple MA provides smooth chart that filters most fake outs. On the negative side is slow moving, so it will be too late to enter the market. The exponential moving average is quick moving, good at showing a recent price swings, and on the negative side, fake signals as it reacts too fast to prices. So coming to a conclusion, for short-term trading, an exponential moving average would be more suitable when a simple moving average will show the bigger view of the market. Most traders will plot several moving averages. A long-term, simple MA, and several exponential moving averages. Piece by piece, you will start creating your own trading strategy, as long as you can understand what to use and when to use it. In future episodes, we will see indicators with several moving averages combined, but be patient. 
when it comes to trading the markets, even the simplest things that are in front of you will become impossible to identify. The reason is very simple. The market will play tricks on you. No matter how experienced you are, when it comes to trend trading is what we need to make some profits, to ride those juicy waves of the markets. The moving average will help you to identify that trend. I have opened an example here as we can see in fiber. I have used three moving averages. As long as the prices keep moving above, we have an uptrend. Of course, this is obvious. And the most important thing in a trend is to identify the trend. Trust me on that. You won't need any indicator to do it. Of course, we need to measure momentum. If we have some divergence in the market and several other factors. But for the moment, we will stick to the basics. Remember that Captain Hindsight Syndrome. Everything is obvious after the market makes the move. In this example, we have both directions in the market. As we can see, the problem is with several false signals. As new traders, you will need to set specific rules. Those rules should be very tight and strict. Stop losses profits, risk rewards, and so on. Many traders are using several types of moving averages or some crossover techniques to solve the problem. Again, it's not so easy. In this example, I have used crossovers and indeed they were useful, but most of the times they won't be. Like any other tool we are analyzing in trading, we need to use it with the proper way. The moving average will help you to identify the trend, but Try to do that in a live market. It won't be so easy, I can guarantee that. When the market keep trending on the upside or on the downside, it will follow your moving average indicator. Other the prices will close above, other the prices will close below. However, the problem will remain the same. By changing values in your indicator, you will have different readings in your chart. A moving average crossover occurs when two different moving average lines cross over one another. Simple as that. Later on in this series, we will see several popular indicators that use crossovers and are used by most of the traders. Moving average crossover is a powerful tool and the best way you can use them in order to have an insight while trading the markets. Remember, in trading, nothing is perfect. However, this will give you an edge while trading the markets. You will need some rules to enter and exit your trades. Moving average crosses will be able to give you those tight rules. Of course, nobody can guarantee that the trend will continue. Continue, to what level and for how long. It might last for hours, days, weeks or even years. A moving average crossover would give you that hint. A crossover will give you a hint of when the trend might reverse, usually when the market loses momentum. A crossover will give you an exit and entry point and will track prices. Later we will discuss envelopes and indicators that provide a better view of the market. Also we'll show you if the remaining trend moves in the same pace. In this Euro USD example, I have used crossovers. Now, of course, the captain hindsight when we are demonstrating these examples and when the market already did the move is on the wheel. Unfortunately, this is one of the most important reasons traders quit. The market won't be perfect. A huge drawdown of these crossovers are the false signals. Unfortunately, many traders get fooled. They get some trades and excitement is what eliminates their account. The moving average crosses are a powerful tool when they are used properly. You need to combine information and get the best combination. Now you can use some trend lines with those moving average and you will see how beautiful they can follow the market. I have seen several fancy, ridiculous indicators out there and singlers that don't work. It's just a simple modification of some moving average crosses. Unfortunately, the forex market is full of scammers and people that have no idea how to trade the market with zero proven trading history. A simple moving average on a trend will sky high your account. Another way to use moving average is to use them as dynamic, movable support or resistance levels. In our example of supports and resistances, we said that these are area of prices. In a trend and when the market moves in waves, we have a more dynamic set of prices. In the same example, we can see how these areas acted as dynamic supports and resistances. Our moving average was the perfect tools to show the market's dynamic. The principle is still the same. We are still talking about support and resistances, but in a more dynamic formation. In this example, the market respected the lines and the limitations. Now let's use some combos. We need at least three points to identify the trend line. We have some crosses. So in this example that we managed to throw away Captain Hindsight, we could go long in the market in the next crossover. A juicy trade might be in this corner. All this 
magic stuff we learn in this series can be applied before the market makes the move. The moving average can act as moving supports and resistances. Think smart every time you are trading. You need to combine information. This will come in time. Remember what we said, the market moves in waves. Now if you go back to support and resistances and channels while the market is trending, you can apply envelopes. The envelope indicator identifies the upper and lower band of a trading range. Looks like a river that follows our market trend. The basic envelope consists of two moving averages following the upper and the lower prices of our trading entity. It seems that the market is following this envelope. Well again, not even close. We will explain later the flaws while we are using envelopes. Of course, we are talking about ideal market conditions. You will find the description, the most popular ones and several envelope and bad indicators explained. Again, I recommend sticking to the basics of this episode. You cannot learn how to run unless you know how to walk first and before that to stand on your feet. Here in the EURUSD, we can see an example of bands or envelopes. Again, in every indicator we are showing the formula. This can help people that want to go deeper in their analysis while trading. All the formulas are explained in details in the description below in the related video that analyzes each indicator separately. The envelope indicator will be automatically placed in your chart. So with a bit of practice in the values, you will get the idea pretty fast. The envelope indicator helps us to identify areas of extreme. These areas are called overbought or oversold areas. Keep notes, there is no overbought or oversold in the market, while you will hear these definitions quite a lot. We are using these terms to better describe some extremes of the markets. You will also see these definitions later while we are analyzing other popular indicators. You can understand why it is called enveloped. There are several types of envelopes indicators. Again, the principle is the same. There are several variables you can adjust. Period uses the same principles as the moving average. The lower the value, the faster your envelope and the less smooth will be. Deviation sets how much the moving average lines are shifted up and down. In simple words, how wide your channel will be. Shift. This value shifts your indicator. A value of 5, for example, will shift your indicator in the same period forward 5 candles. A minus 5 will shift backwards. You will learn some tricks in the future to project past prices in the future, but keep focused. Method, as we said earlier in this episode, simple MA, exponential MA, weighted, and so on. Apply to, in what prices you want to apply the indicator. As we said, for most of our indicators, I'm using typical price. You can practice with the values and understand the mechanisms of the indicator. As you can understand, it's very easy to identify the entries and exits while using this indicator. In an uptrend, you buy in the lower limits while you will sell in the upper limits. Sounds easy and simple, and it is. When the market is trending, you will kill it by just using this indicator. Identifying overbought and oversold levels isn't easy though. These are just relevant prices based on recent market behavior. In the description below, you will find an example of moving averages ribbon. So what is it? In simple words, is a set of moving averages an entire army of them. You will see indicators and experimental indicators that use golden ratio values and other fancy tools. All are on the same chart. It's like creating a recipe of several moving averages, faster ones and slower ones. As new traders, the more indicators and lines you put, the more secure and confident you feel. This is normal. Your chart will look like this. In time, you will start discarding unnecessary information. An example of ribbon here gives the idea of some potential areas where the prices will react. As the market is a self-fulfilling prophecy. The values we will use are the ones that most traders use. The period of 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 150, 200 and a very slower one at 300. This is up to you. The more you put, the higher the accuracy and the fewer potential entries. So practically you will have a messy chart with several moving averages covering all the potential market prices. And now what? Well, you guess it correctly. It would be impossible to trade. That's why we keep saying to keep your chart clean and simple. We are using ribbons and we use the values that most traders use. The idea of how to trade with ribbon is very simple. When your army of moving averages are starting to expand significantly, it means that the market is accelerating into a direction. When your moving averages are start crowded together, the market loses momentum. At this point, a crossover signal is what most traders use to enter the market. All good and easy while the market is trending. When your army is widening out 
also known as the ribbon expansion. This signals that the recent price direction has reached an extreme and could be the end of the trend or the market is taking a breath. When the moving averages start to converge and get closer to each other, also known as ribbon contraction, a trend change has possibly started. When the crossover happens, is the point when most traders jump into the market. Parallel moving average ribbon signals a strong trend. When the moving average ribbons are parallel and evenly spaced, this means that the current trend is strong. You will find the alligator indicator as an example in the description to help you with the idea. The debate is endless about the values that you can use at this point. We tend to use what most traders use. The GMMA, GAPI Multiple Moving Averages Indicator. This is a trend following indicator which identifies both long term and short term direction using multiple moving averages lines. The idea remains the same. Trend trading success depends not only properly identifying the trend direction and catching the trend after it has started, but also on getting out as soon as possible after the trend has reversed or might reverse. GAP is considered an efficient way of using multiple moving averages to identify the trend, makes clear entries, exits and help you identify a potential market reversal. Daryl Gappi, an Australian trader, was the creator. However, the idea was not new. Several moving averages in a diagram is what makes more sense to track the market. The GMMA indicator plots six moving averages lines for the short term set and another six moving average lines for the long term set. The short term moving averages lines are 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 and 15 period exponential moving averages. The long term moving average lines on the other hand are 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 and 55 period exponential moving averages. The two group of moving averages are differentiated by color. The short term are blue while the long term is red. Again, this is up to you. The trend is determined by the long term exponential moving averages signal and are given by the short term's exponential moving averages. You should enter a trade when a trend reversal occurs, which is indicated when one group crossovers over the other group, when the short term group crosses above the longer term group, buy, and when the short term group crosses below the longer term group, sell. In most platforms you will find Guppy. If not, you can make it by using those several exponential moving averages we mentioned. The 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 and 15 are used to show the short term and the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 and 60 show the longer term. The 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 and 50 exponential moving averages are used to show the short term trends momentum while the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 and 60 show the longer term trends momentum. Trend reversals and continuations can be identified with these two groups. The GAPI multiple moving average can be used to identify changes in trend direction. The degree of separation between the short and long term moving averages can be used as an indicator of trend strength. Remember what we said in Ribbon. If there is a wide separation, this indicates that the trend is strong. If there is a narrow separation of lines, the market slows down. We might expect a reversal at this point. Crossovers again are the key. The crossover of the short and long term moving averages represent trend reversal. If the short terms cross above the long term moving averages, this is known as bullish crossover and indicates that a bullish reversal has occurred. If the short term cross below the longer term ones, this is known as bearish crossover and indicates that the bearish reversal is occurring. The market slows down when the moving averages between the two groups are close together and approximately parallel. I'm guessing you already got the idea on how to trade on this indicator. Buy when all short term terms EMAs cross above all the long terms, sell when all short EMAs cross below all the long terms EMA. There is no signal. The buy and sell signal above should be avoided when the prices and the exponential moving averages are moving sideways. This is a critical point where all moving averages are failing. When the market is ranging, we don't have a clear direction. We will always wait for a separation as we explained. The most common use is to trade 
the breakout. Even though it's too early to explain strategies with this indicator, we can identify when the market is building momentum. A possible breakout is about to happen. Even though we are presenting the perfect examples, the market will never be perfect. It's very important to master the idea of moving averages in the markets. There are several indicators that uses those principles and we will discuss and analyze all of them in this series. The moving average is a useful indicator that needs to be used with the proper way like all the tools we are presenting in our series. The limitation and the drawdowns are too many when the moving average or any indicator we describe that uses the same principles gives a signal is too late. The market already did the move. This will make you adjust constantly the values without results. It is a lagging indicator. Later we will explain the types of indicators. This means that it cannot predict future prices. In the description below regarding type of moving averages you will find some out of the box idea on how to project the indicator to provide you a glimpse of the future prices. Again, the drawdown is the same. It is just a lagging indicator. It follows the prices. This means that no matter what value you choose to use, the market will always be in front. In this series, we will see indicators that can predict future prices, but as traders, it is important to know the details. Most of the times, you will get false signals. When the market is ranging, the indicator doesn't work. It is a pure trend following indicator, but when you identify the trend, it is too late. This might be a retracement of the main trend. Trend. In bigger time frames that you fail to spot, it doesn't work in extreme market conditions, especially when we have huge volatility. Following this indicator will whip so your account. It will slowly destroy your balance. While you try to catch a trend, you will keep trading false signals. The values of the indicators can be chaotic. My suggestion is to use a simple long term moving average and a faster exponential moving average to simplify your trading technique. Changing the values won't help. Put values that make sense and use what we said in this episode. The market is unpredictable and most of the times, no matter what indicator you will use, market will eliminate your account. Use the moving averages just as signal. One signal is not enough to enter the market, no matter what indicator you are using. Thank you very much for watching. Go back, repeat the chapters you are not sure, and uh, trade safe. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching our videos. I hope you enjoy. You know that we need your subscriptions, likes, and comments for the YouTube algorithm. Help us to make more content, and uh, trade safe.